real engineering, you have to solve very complex processes, and you don't really know when you start where you're going. It was this challenge of trying to solve complex problems that brought Edwin Lightfoot to the field of biotechnology. If you study this process a little bit, you soon wonder why we're alive at all. But good old Mother Nature is just a marvelous engineer, and as you know, it does work. The simplest example uh, from the standpoint of human beings is that when you breathe in air, what you really want from that air is the oxygen. And the transport from the lungs into the blood is the vital mass transport phenomenon that all of us depend on for our, our lives. Even this is a very complex process. And Lightfoot, along with colleagues Robert Byrd and Warren Stewart, set out to develop the theoretical background and published Transport Phenomena, still considered a Bible in the chemical and biological engineering world. I still describe the behavior of physiological systems from a transport standpoint, and I try to develop better and new separation systems for the biotech industry. Separations are, like most of chem engineering, all but invisible to the public, but vital. What fascinates me is what we call the combinatorial problem that is central to all creative processes. How do you find the one answer you're looking for out of all the possible answers you think of when you start? That's really what engineering means to me, I guess. It's just the natural way to behave.